In this video, I will discuss four types of over-the-counter eye drops for allergic conjunctivitis. These eye drops are not inclusive of all products on the market, and I did not include the eye drops made from natural botanical extracts. Allergic conjunctivitis is an eye inflammation caused by an allergic reaction to allergens. Common allergens are spores from fungi, which include moles, dust mites, pollen from trees, grass, ragweed, tight dander, cockroaches. Next, I'm going to briefly discuss the mechanism of an allergic response to an antigen. When a person is exposed to an antigen for the first time, the antigen triggers B cells, a type of immune cell, to differentiate into plasma cells. The plasma cells produce specific IgE antibodies, which attach to the mast cells. When the person encounters the same antigen again, the antigen will bind to and cross-link the specific IgE antibodies on the surface of mast cells. The event triggers the mast cells to release histamines. The histamines then bind to the H1 histamine receptors on certain cell surface, leading to an allergic reaction. The antihistamines can block the binding of the histamine to its receptor and significantly reduce the allergy symptoms. Signs and symptoms of allergic conjunctivitis include itchy eyes, watery eyes, burning eyes, puffy eyelids, hazy vision, being sensitive to light, gritty sensation in the eyes. Your primary care physician can often diagnose allergic conjunctivitis from your symptoms, your medical history, and physical exams. Once the diagnosis of allergic conjunctivitis is confirmed, several over-the-counter eye drops can be chosen to alleviate the symptoms. If you use contact lenses, you should remove contact lenses before eye drop use. Wait at least 10 minutes before reinserting contact lenses after use. The first type of over-the-counter eye drops contains antihistamines such as ketotifen or olopatadine. Brand name eye drops Zetiter and Aloe contain ketotifen. These eye drops temporarily alleviate eye itchiness from allergy. They are for adults and children 3 years of age and older. They work in minutes and last up to 12 hours. Put one drop in the affected eyes twice daily every 8 to 12 hours. Do not use more than twice per day. Patadine contains a different antihistamine, olopatadine. It temporarily alleviates eye itchiness from allergy. It is for adults and children 2 years of age and older. It works in minutes and the 0.2% olopatadine eye drop lasts up to 24 hours. Instill one drop in the affected eyes once daily. The second type of over-the-counter eye drops are Nafcon A, Opcon A, and Ysin A, which contain nefazolin and phenylalanine. Nefazolin is a decongestant which constricts blood vessels in the eyes and reduces the eye redness. Phenylalanine is an antihistamine which reduces the allergic reaction in the eyes. These eye drops temporarily alleviate eye itchiness and redness from allergy. It is for adults and children 6 years of age and older. It works in minutes and lasts up to 6 hours. Put 1 to 2 drops in the affected eyes no more than 4 times a day. Your pupils may become temporarily enlarged and your eyes may be sensitive to light after the eye drop use. Overuse of this type of eye drop can cause more eye redness. Consult your healthcare provider before use if you have heart disease, closed angle glaucoma, hypertension, trouble urination due to enlarged prostate. The third type of over-the-counter eye drops for allergic conjunctivitis relief is decongestant eye drop. Many decongestant eye drops are under two major brand names, Visin and Clear Eyes. If a Visin eye drop product is labeled for red eye or redness relief, it normally contains tetrahydrosoline, 
which constricts blood vessels of the eye and helps eye redness relief. Similarly, if a clear eyes product indicates eye redness relief, it contains either phenylephrine, nephazoline, or tetrahydrothaline. They are all blood vessel constrictors and reduce eye redness. Most of the visine and clear eyes products contain one or more lubricants. These discongestant eye drops temporarily alleviate eye redness, dryness, burning, and irritation. They are for adults and children six years of age and older. Consult your doctor if you have closed angle glaucoma before you use the eye drops. Put one to two drops in the affected eyes no more than four times a day. Your pupils may become temporarily enlarged. Overuse of this type of eye drops can cause rebound redness. This slide shows some of the decongestant eye drops on the market. The visine and the quid eye drops both contain tetrahydrothaline, which constricts blood vessels of the eyes and thus relieves the eye redness. The clear eyes eye drop on the right side contains nephazoline, which is a blood vessel constrictor, and glycerin, which is a lubricant. The last type of eye drop is Lumify, which is a unique decongestant. It contains 0.025% brimonidine tartrate. As compared to the previously mentioned decongestant eye drops, Lumify selectively constricts venules. It does not cause pupil dilation and causes minimum rebound redness. It is for adults and children 5 years of age and older. Instill one drop to the affected eyes every 6 to 8 hours. Do not use more than 4 times a day. It starts to work in one minute and lasts up to 8 hours. Lumify is very expensive and costs 20 times more than the equipped original decongestant eye drops. In summary, there are different types of over-the-counter eye drops for the symptom relief for allergic conjunctivitis. Antihistamine eye drops such as Zaditer and Alloway contain the antihistamine ketotifen. In contrast, Patadate contains the antihistamine olopatadine. Some eye drops such as Nifcon A, Ofcon A, and Visin A combine a decongestant nephazoline and an antihistamine phenyramine. Visin and clear eyes decongestant eye drops contain different decongestants with without lubricant. Lumify is unique in that it selectively constricts venules in the eyes and causes minimum rebound eye redness.